Uh, we've lived at this house for about six years now. I have a brother called Will, who's nine years old, a brother called Asher, who's seven, and a brother called Louis, who's five. Well, our headmaster met the man who made the gadget. So you can just go see how much electricity you're using. We turn off all the lights that we're not using. If it's cold, we just put a jumper on it. We don't leave things on standby. 519. And that'll cost £52. At school, we have lots of solar panels and we learn about sustainability. Our headmaster wants us to be very green school. We have the EcoDriver software and that can monitor the energy that we use in the school as a whole or in each of the separate buildings. 2009 is really low. We're trying to not use as much electricity. And, and we have three uh, um, tubes um, yeah. which um, sunlight reflects on them and they make the room lighter so we don't have to use the lights. We've noticed where we consume a lot of electricity and that's really been the key for us because that's helped everyone to start to change their behaviour. This is about conservation into consciousness. It's about all of us thinking of a better way of living which uh, holds conservation at the core. Energy, saving life bulbs, switch off lights, the biomass boiler, solar tubes, solar panels, water butts, the veggie garden, less kilowatts an hour equals less, less CO2. CO2. What is sustainability is a big question. Two years ago, I went to Antarctica. It was really that experience that made me realize that we actually needed to start to do something and we needed to start to do it in a way that could in engage everyone. Richard has put together an Antarctic curriculum to introduce the whole sustainability agenda to children at a very young age. With the younger children, we want them to just appreciate their world. That's Madam Flappy, that one. No, no, that one's Madam Flappy. That's oh, Madam yeah. Flappy, and this is Pip. That's Ginger. It's just for like eggs. Yeah, we'll see if it's which we eggs, take actually. home. No eggs. Power. Well, as we move right up to the top of the school, we're really then getting our children to analyse what we do in this school, the energy we use, how much CO2 it produces, uh, and most importantly, where they can start to. Uh, influence change. We set in place what we called carbon challenges. I pledge to get as many energy saving products in my house as possible. We introduced what we call the 100 Club. It's about the children and this school community saving energy and keeping it below 100 every day. So, so far every time we've, we've got under 100. It's quite yeah. good. The first year we achieved a 50% reduction in our electricity. The second year it was 28% further reduction. It's changed the thinking of the children in a very cultural way and it's now beginning to affect the families. One of the exciting things that we're doing is sharing what's been achieved here at Ashley with other schools, businesses that the school's linked with and the impact that it's had there has been significant. The message is if they start to see what they can do and what we can all do, then uh, we will start to see the change. So we're doing everything we can, really. Making a better future for your children's children's children. And children. Yeah. It's something you need to do, because otherwise... Mm. Unless just... you want to be living on a planet which is practically made of rubbish. Yeah. Which I'm not sure most people do. Yes.